Hello all you lovely lot and welcome to Applecast Northwest, the world's first sort of indoor fishery and it's the brainchild of this fabulous bloke here, Neil Farmworth. So I'm going to have a little chat with him today about what it's all about, what the project involves and uh, it's over to you mate, tell us all about it then. <laughs> uh, Applecast was set up in 2006 yeah. and it was all about getting young people into obviously angling and diverting them away from antisocial behaviour. Yeah. But since then, it's grown from a passion of what angling brings to young people, whether it be therapeutic or educational. Now, obviously, when we say education, what do we mean by education? Well, angling has so many streams in education that it can go down science. You know, there's, there's that many things that we can embed into what we do through practical skills. Mm. Then we use the angling as a tool of engagement, and then we take them down the route of learning a way to do aquaponics, which is growing vegetables from fish where in the same. big word that, Neil. Aqu 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 aquaponics. Oh, nice. <laughs> so it's about using, like last year, we grow nearly a ton of veg. Right. From really? fish waste. Right. Now right. that went into the cafe. From fish waste? From fish waste, yeah. Nice. And it tastes really good. Does it really? Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to have a sample later. Yeah, you can have some soup. <laughs> So basically, it's, it's about using angling to develop young people and progress young people. Absolutely. Especially work-based or education. You touched on it before, obviously, whilst we were having breakfast. We've got to have something to eat, haven't we? Um, the, obviously, the, the, the kids sort of like... I mean, you wouldn't believe how cold it is outside. It's proper blowing a gale. It's like two degrees and inside. All right, the water temperature is all still the same as outside, but it, it's just a, a nice environment for the kids, yeah. isn't it? Rather than, as you said before, you touched on this time of year over winter, they just want to be on PlayStations and that. They don't yeah. want to be on that, do they? They want to get them out fishing. I think a lot of the problem with angling at the moment, and I know people obviously slate indoor fishing off, but the indoor fishing is not about bringing angling indoors. Absolutely. It's about keeping young people engaged through the winter period in clement when weather. You've got real bad weather. Yeah. Correct, because if they don't come fishing, what they're going to do? Get on their Xbox, stay on their Xbox, lose interest in fishing, and we'll lose them from angling. 100%. It's massively important that we bring young people through in angling to make this the most participated sport because we're losing more and more young people every year and we need to keep them into this great sport that we have. That's it, mate. And again, we touched on it before. I still class myself as young. I'm 40. I don't look 40, do I? <laughs> 40 now, I still class myself as young in this sport and there's just no youngsters coming in. So I think it's so important that you get behind projects like this. It really, really is important. You're doing a fantastic job, mate. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. This is the third time I've been here now, isn't it? Yeah. And like, well, I went to the first one, the original one, first yeah. of all, and then I come here sort of like four years ago, and since, I can't believe the change since I've come back from that yeah. four years ago, we've got outdoor waters now. We'll, we'll be doing something on there sort of later on. Maybe not today, but we're doing something on there later on. Uh, there's cafes, there's shops, it's just, just a minefield, mate. Isn't yeah, it? but what we've all got to remember is this comes from angling. Definitely. It comes from people wanting to com compete in our, our sport, which is angling. Yeah. Angling is important to the development of cast. If we didn't have the angling, we wouldn't have the engagement levels that we have, and we probably wouldn't be as successful. And it's people like you and other people that promote yeah. Applecast because you understand the ethos of what we're about and why we want to help young people. That's the most important thing about this. Definitely, it's, it's keeping them engaged, isn't it? It's, it's and obviously a, a fantastic, safe environment like this. I don't think there's a better way to do it. Yeah, you know, the Community Angling Club, again, is all based on, you know, people talk about the olden days and how it used to be, you know, people used to have work parties and you all used to go out and well, do like back in days at steam and everything like yeah, that. And yeah, coal. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll not remember it, Andy, because you're, no. you're a bit younger than me. <laughs> but, you know, the, you look at the work parties and it, I remember my dad used to take me as a young person to go and do the work parties. Yeah. I learned woodwork skills, I used hammers. You know, the kids we get have never used an hammer. And you think to yourself, well, you've never used an hammer, hold on a minute, you know, that's something you should pick up. I only ever used a hammer once. Hurt me thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you using an hammer on, on your Facebook and yeah, doing a bit. Yeah, you know, it's not pretty. The, the odd day you get off, I've seen you doing that. But I know it's not very often, but anyway. But it's about, you know, getting young people to learn new skills. Definitely. And like I said again, it all starts from the angling side and then develop them as young people. Neil, you're doing a fantastic job. Anything we can do to help, and I urge you, please get behind this fantastic project. Uh, we'll do, mate. We'll do all we can to help you. Awesome, pal. Okay, thank you very much. So we're going to catch some fish now. No, let's go see Jamie. We're going to see Jay now. We've got to smash him up and then I'll challenge him a bit. So let's go see his tactics. 
Right, you lovely lot, I do apologise interrupting this video, but I want to remind you about Winning Ways, uh, episode 6, it's out live now, so go and check it out. I'm covering maggot feeder and pellet cone, and Jamie, <coughs> he's covering long pole and pellets and fishing down the edge. So go and check it out on Vimeo now. Back to the video. Ba -ding! James, just seen you miss a bite. <laughs> <laughs> it was the liner, it must have been. Mate, what do it? you reckon to it? What do you reckon to this place, it, It's surreal, isn't it? it it's weird. Mate, for, for its purpose, I've just been speaking to Neil there, and it's just, it's, it's phenomenal. I can't believe it doesn't get more support than what it does. It's so. unbelievable, mate. To be able to get kids out on a bank, no matter what. Oh, you missed another one. So, mate, that's Linus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Linus, don't miss proper bites, no. do you, mate? But it is, isn't it? it it's, yeah. Do you know I, mean, out there, if you brought them today... I mean, look at it, pan across, Rich. Look at the weather out there. It's like proper kite weather, isn't it? It's like 50 yeah. mile an hour winds and all that. And it's cold. And in here, all right, it's not like T-shirt weather yet, but it's... It's all about engaging, you know, keeping the kids engaged. Yeah. And, you know, this time of year when it's like proper horrible outside and you want to go fishing, you know, conditions like that, I mean, you, you can't always keep the attention. So, no, something like this. Exactly is, what's needed for kids, isn't it? They get to mate, come out, not get rotten. You know what I mean? It's nice and clean. You no put, PlayStations, out like no, that. No, no PlayStations, but it is. It's clean environment, it's nice and safe. It's just, um, and they're out the weather. You know I mean, so no matter what, they can come here and have a quick go, catch some fish, because the place is absolutely stuffed with fish as well. It is stuffed, but Jay, how hard is it as well? It, it's, it's, it's like weird. a lake, isn't it? It's w like a commercial. W when you can see absolutely everything that's going on, I mean, it's flat calm, and like the, the bites that F1s give you anyway, they sort of don't pull your float under anyway, yeah. do they? But yeah. I mean, today it's just like magnified however many times, isn't it? With it no is. wind, no flow, anything like that. You've just seen them little dinks, and it's on. Well, it would have been if I was fishing. Yeah. Mr. Man. Liners, Jay. Liners. Liners uh, but it is, it's in, like you say, it's really interesting because you're in, I wouldn't say perfect conditions, you're in perfectly still conditions, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. It's amazing that you, how, much you can, how much more you can see. I mean, yeah. you never get this in a, an outside environment. No. But I think that'll lead to a better situation for teaching. I mean, because you yeah. can say, look, you can tell us one there, yeah. that they're responding like this the way to your feed. Um, Rich isn't the only professional skyline today, are you, mate? No. You know, there's like that many skylines. So, when we got here, there was fish swirling everywhere and, you know, yeah. signs of fish everywhere, but now they've, they've started to settle down and the, the, it's going to turn into a proper fishing, isn't it? Of course it is. They're going to learn in a, yeah. as we keep mentioning, a nice, safe, clean, comfortable environment instead of having to go out there and, and get put off. It's just... You know I mean, it'll keep them keen, won't it? Instead of going in that horrible weather, catching very little, yeah. not enjoying themselves, going home freezing cold. That's it. They come here, catch a few fish, enjoy it, and it makes them come back as well. It gets the kids involved as well. There's everything on site. There's cafes on site, obviously toilets and all that, the shops. It's just, it's, it's brilliant. It's I'm just crazy, kind of it's the third, You missed another one, man? No. It's the third time I've been here. Uh, the first time was at the a place, an, an older place, and then obviously I, I've been here before any of the outdoor lakes was done. And then this is this is the next time I've come and it's just it, it's proper astounding it really it's has unbelievable. I think isn't it? it's absolutely brilliant, mate. Well, no, definitely worth checking out, isn't it? If you can anything that helps getting kids involved these days and keeping them involved, which is the most difficult bit. Absolutely. It, it's for me this is job done. It doesn't get any better than this. I wish I had this one. How are you, mate? Yeah, definitely. What do we have like canals and all that and feeding? Like, yeah. I wouldn't get 65 layers on and all that. Like bit. loads of gloves. This no, will keep you keen. No, a phenomenal project, isn't it? Check it out, Applecast Northwest. Yeah, well worth a look.